you're watching Daily Dink is it is Saturday, May 19th, which means it is World Whiskey Day. I'm here on 6th Street in Austin, Texas, and this is the happiest, happiest place for alcohol. There are bars all over the place. Apparently they close at the street at 9 p.m. Anyway, it's also plant a lemon tree day, so my mission tonight is to find a whiskey bar, order a whiskey drink with a lemon on the side, extract some seeds, plant some lemon trees. Let's do this! Yeah! This place is crazy. This is the same corner I was just shooting at. I walked five feet and there's a marching band. So let's go out there and have some fun. World Whiskey Day, woo! I'm sure we'll find a lot of whiskey bars here. So I'm gonna look for a place called Seven Grand and it's one street further down that way. I'm gonna nip into tellers and see what they think about World Whiskey Day. Hey man, it's World Whiskey Day today, man. What do you think about that? World Whiskey? World Whiskey Day. Road whiskey? World, dude. Oh, world. world. Global Mama. whiskey yeah, day. Yeah, man. I did not know that. You a whiskey drinker? Yeah. Yeah, man. You gonna have one? Hey, yo, bartender. It's World Whiskey Day today. What's that? Global whiskey day today. What do you think about that? Yeah, man. Right on. <laughs> it's going great, man. It's World Whiskey Day today. Is it really? It is. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. You drink whiskey? I do, not tonight though. No, you're Work. working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, too bad. This is seven grand. This is a whiskey bar? It is indeed. Right on, I'm heading in there. Awesome. Sweet. Have a good time, Thanks. Man. Hey man, hey, it's man. World Whiskey Day today. Huh? World Whiskey Day. Is it? It is. I had no idea. It is, man. That's why I'm here. The more you know. <laughs> That's yeah. dangerous information. It is. <laughs> so I'm here because of this whiskey day, and I was told that seven grand is a whiskey bar. It is the best whiskey bar in Austin. You heard it here? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going in. Alright, thanks. It is World Whiskey Day, but... Did you know that? I did. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I thought I was the only person... Uh, wow. Is that why you're here? Um, it's not, but I mean, I did... <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. And so you're here drinking whiskey then? I am, yes. Is this the best whiskey bar in Austin? Yes, if you're looking for like variety, absolutely. They have the biggest selection. I'm from Kentucky, so. <laughs> you know. All right. Okay, let me check it out. That's quite a bar. Look at that. Wow. Today is World Whiskey Day. It is World Whiskey Day. You're at the right spot for it. Is anything here not whiskey? It's all whiskey. We do have other... Uh, we do have tequila, we do have rum. Yeah, the main spirit is definitely whiskeys. You are a whiskey bar, yeah, as it were. Yeah, it's a full-on whiskey bar, yes. Amazing. How long have you been established? Uh, almost a year, as of July. Some people like straight off bourbon, some people like rice, some people we have a huge selection of scotches. So very berries on the people right on and the mood so to speak um now listen i gotta be honest with you i'm i'm kind of a i drink girly drinks you know to put it bluntly yeah. yeah i drink you, so. you know i drink a lot of daiquiris that kind of stuff margaritas yeah we do what, what could you hook me up with that's got whiskey in it though i mean could cocktail you, wise i mean yeah. there's the whole berries i mean our top five could do like a mint julep an old-fashioned or Right, Manhattan. Yeah, I could do a Sazerac. Could you give me something like, are there any blended ice drinks with whiskey? We don't have a blender here, but we could do, uh, I mean, everything's uh, hand shaken here. So, I mean, it's really what you want. You want to look at a cocktail menu? It's kind of like, yeah, yeah, sure. Of what we have. I should definitely look at that. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so they have a lot of whiskey drinks. We invite you to discover with us as we curate the Seven Grand Whiskey Society, which meets weekly with comparative tastings hosted by master distillers and international brand ambassadors. How about that? That's cool. So this is a legit whiskey bar. And I want to check out this whiskey bible. Wow, oh, look at this. Bourbons, bourbons, bourbon, bourbon. Look at this thing. Crazy. Tennessee whiskey, scotch, wow, they have Irish whiskey, they have Canadian whiskey, they have 
everything. This place is insane. <laughs> Uh, so lime still is a classic uh, bourbon cocktail. So you have bourbon, lime juice, uh, we do it with honey, it's going to be your sweetener, and then allspice dram. We do a little dairy component to it. So, nice! Yeah. Go. yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. I'm going to try this now. Wow, that is dangerously good. Seriously, that's... This could be bad news. It is a lot like a dark and stormy, but with whiskey instead of rum. Wow, that is... That is amazing. I feel like alcohol could have me by the lion's tail, though. You know what I mean? Wow. I could become an alcoholic. That is really good. Today is World Whiskey Day. Oh. Here's to whiskey. Yeah. Right? Yes. Um, are you all drinking whiskey? Not yet. She is not. <laughs> I am waiting to order. I've never been in a better whiskey bar in my life. This is great. This is a good one. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting to order a Boulevardier. So. I don't have a clue what that is. They're like little whiskey balls with little hearts on them. Right. Because I love whiskey, which I don't really, but people on Whiskey Day do. Yes. And these are actually, I know, never really explained this to my viewers, but a dinkus is an idiot. Yes. But in publishing circles, a dinkus is a technical term that refers to a design element that's used in, you know, magazine periodical. So these are kind of dinkuses as well. These little designs on my head. And I do it every day. Okay. So this is a daily dinkus and this is a daily dinkus. So there you're in it. That's it. Right? Yeah. Could you hook me up with a lemon on the side? Just a lemon? A lemon, a whole lemon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So he's gonna hook me up. Like I said before, we need to plant a lemon tree or two or five or ten. So I'm gonna need more than a lemon slice. I like this bartender, he's cool. So I just left the seven grand and I'm walking to the Omni Hotel, but wow, that is quite a, a shot. I love it. So my buddy Joseph here is telling me how to germinate lemon seeds because I'm going to plant a lemon tree today. Alright, so it says moisten the potting soil so it's damp but not soaked. Right. Um, if you're I don't have potting soil, it'll be uh, dirt in a park. Right, and see that's going to be the problem. It's going to take a couple of days for the seed to germinate. Yeah, but yeah. I can plant it today. That's all that matters. It's not germinate the lemon seed day, it's plant a lemon seed day, right. so I'm good. The whole object it would be nice to go. I mean, you're not really planting it if you just dump it in the ground. Right, right. It's gotta be, right. it's gotta have a legitimate chance of surviving. Right. To be planted. What I would say do is, is, is wrap the seed up in a paper towel, get the paper towel real wet, and then drop the paper towel in because you need the moisture. Because yeah, I'll just dump some whiskey on top, give it a little uh, kick. But see, what you have the problem is, is that Texas soil is so dry, it, it, it's going to be, dip, you need potting soil. I don't think you're, unless you can find some loose top, some good topsoil, you know. I'll find some good topsoil downtown. I'm going to a nice hotel and just scoop a bit out of the plant pot. Or you could, how about this? How about you just go into one of those things and plant your lemons eat in? That's a good idea. And they'll end up with a lemon tree growing in an hibiscus plant. Yes. You're a brilliant man yes. and evil. And, and, and guess what? And they're going to water it every once oh. a week. Oh my gosh, they're going to take It's a their parasite yes. lemon yes. plant. Yes, that's how we do that. And I would say, I would say, if you're going to go buy a lemon, I would say you do that to three or four, three or four of them. Yeah, why not, right? Increase the odds. The same yes. lemon, right? The Omni Hotel is right there. I'm going to nip in there, plant a lemon tree. Let's go. So I had a little trouble finding it because it's a giant landmark, but when you're up close, you can't find the main door. But here we are at the Omni Hotel. So let's go in and try to plant this tree. This is a beautiful hotel. Wow, the lobby is amazing. 
That's the restaurant. This is a giant atrium. So yeah, this is the Omni downtown Austin. And wow, it's really nice. And that's another bar in the Omni Hotel. I'd stop in for a whiskey on World Whiskey Day, but I'm already a little sauced. I've got to plant a tree and I've got to do it kind of in a covert manner. I don't want to draw any attention to myself and get myself kicked out of here. So I'm going to set the camera down and just drop the lemon seeds in that planter right there. But first I've got to hit the bathroom and get some tissues with some water to germinate the seeds. Man, this is like a Tom Cruise mission here. Wait, that's James Bond. Oh, I'm such a dinkus. So I'm looking for the bathroom in here. It doesn't look like there's a bathroom back there. I guess I'll come back this way. I'm at the elevator bank and there's a map. I don't see any bathrooms. Damn. Wow. found the restrooms. Okay, I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing here and people keep coming in. You know, I've got the lemon wrapped up in here from the bar and I've got some wet tissue paper. The internet suggests using paper towels but the seeds will be in this wet tissue. That's gonna go right in the soil. And I figure this is more sort of degradable than paper towels so more likely that the seeds will germinate and survive. So I'm just gonna stick here. You know, all I'm doing is pulling some seeds out of here, sticking them in the wet toilet paper. <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab as many as I can out of here. Wow, this lemon doesn't have a lot of seeds. I feel like I got gypped. It's kind of a, it was kind of a baby lemon. And uh, I don't know, there's not a lot of seeds in it, but what, what can you do? Oh, there's a good one. Here's a really good seed, look, look at that. So hopefully, that's, oh, and another one. Okay, so we got a couple really good, that's a nice seed too. Wow, this is stinging my fingers. We've got some hangnails and woo, it's like burning. We got four seeds. I'm actually gonna wrap each one in its own sort of little bed. Doesn't that look comfy? 100% cotton mattress for my little seed. That's two, here's another one. Oh, sleep tight, little buddy. And grow into a big, strong lemon tree in the lobby of the Omni Hotel in Austin, Texas. <laughs> Mission accomplished. So we're just outside the restaurant here. I'm in this plant or two. I think this is ideal though. I'm gonna drop a couple of seeds in here. Just gotta dig down there. I can't really tell, but I'm digging. There's one, okay. It's a lovely restaurant. There's another one. All right, two down, two to go. So now I'm sitting at a table just at the edge of the restaurant. And here's a perfect location. This is, I don't know, there's some kind of tree growing in there. Anyway, I'm just going to pop that in there. All right, three down, one more. So this was the original location. All right, I just had to wait for those guys to get in the elevator and they're gone, so here we go. I'm just going to drop it in the middle of the plant there. Bury it a little. All right, so four lemon trees planted in the lobby of the Omni Hotel in Austin, Texas. I don't know how fast lemon trees grow, but we'll have to Google that and come back and see what happens. So mission accomplished. It's funny because I walked out here and I heard the music playing. And for a second I thought it was the Mission Impossible theme. How funny would that be? Anyway, it's not, but our mission is accomplished and uh, not much else to say except happy plant a lemon tree day, happy world whiskey day. You're watching Daily Dinkus. Till next time, bye. Hey guys, 
Guys, it's World Whiskey Day today. World Whiskey Day. <laughs> <laughs>